Hey guys, it's SF and Pencil Base is up. And my team's gonna be Lilim, Izanami, and Arthur. And my friend's going to be uh, Roma, the, the ascended version of Roma. I do recommend three bounce monsters. And the only Pierce monsters you would probably ever bring is a Roma or a Himiko. The ascended form of Himiko. I don't think you will bring any other Pierce, no gravity barrier monsters. But mainly there are gravity barriers. And then there are damage walls, but there is a special requirement for it. But mainly you want to pinch between sets. Now the cheetahs have a counter. If you proc the counter, then it will shoot out damage walls. So you do not want to shoot the damage walls because I don't have no damage wall monsters. If you do, then you just uh, go all out and do whatever you want. But uh, that's not part of the. I don't think that's that's kind of cheating in my opinion. But as you can see, the damage wall comes up from the bottom uh, cheetah man. And I'll probably explain the next phase when there's more of these guys. Okay. Next, bound number two. And what I really want to turn your attention is to the counters. As you can see, the number one counter on the top set of cheetahs, uh, that's the counter. That's the cooldown for their counters, which procs the damage walls. The damage walls are fixed for that wherever that counter is. So the top set is on the the numbers on the are on the top side. So the damage walls will come up on the top side, and they will double stack. And then on the bottom left side, the counters is on the three, which will shoot onto the bottom left, uh, which shoot on the left side of the wall. But if you have bounce monsters, then you just pinch, and that should be pretty easy. So you don't have to worry about it. That's why you want bounce monsters. And I kind of missed Roma's shot there. Okay. But if you can just get positioning for the pinch shots, pinch shots, then it's not a hard dungeon at all. Next, starting off with Arthur, probably the worst for this, for the next map. Oh, I guess not, because it's turtles. Because there are sets on the bottom side, and you don't want your monsters on the bottom side. Uh, Izanami's good, in terms of positioning. Okay. Next. But it's boss. Uh, either way, it should be okay. The sets are on the top side though, but I'm just going to avoid it completely. I'm just going to clear off the bottom cheetahs first, and then I'll leave the top ones on their own. Should be okay. That's why I want to bring some laser bump combos just because the laser barriers don't proc because of the laser barriers. You won't accidentally proc those uh, counters. I do have a heart, so it should be okay. Should be okay. Okay. For this map, the for this stage, the sets are on uh, are on the vertical. Like you have to pinch vertically, or you won't be able to take care of it. Uh, it's on the left side. Uh, I'm just gonna play it safe, I guess. But I do have a feeling these guy, this cheetah's counter doesn't actually. It's okay. Because there are times where the counter just never stops. Like the counter for the... The cooldown for the counter is the same duration as the actual... 
whatever. <laughs> but basically, the cooldown for the counter is the same duration as the counter itself. Next stage, I'm just gonna pinch. Come on, okay, there we go. And I don't want to proc the top, uh, the bottom side. So, Lilium's gonna definitely proc it, so I'm just gonna go left, right, nope, guess not. Whatever. I should be able to pinch it, but I don't want to risk it. I'm just gonna do it now. There we go. down I should have put Izanami on the third slot because I want to start off with an Izanami strike shot but actually I can stall for the Izanami strike shot here but it's not that big of a problem I'm gonna grab the sword for him there we go Next, starting off with Arthur, probably the worst spot ever because I don't have a pinch angle. So I'm just gonna go willy nilly. I thought I was gonna hit that dude, but it's not. And I'm just gonna go strike shot downward. If it procs, then it procs. Next is Lulam. Uh, should I go downward? No, actually, I'm just gonna clear this guy and then be good. And strike shot. No! Ah, whatever. It's all good. And strike shot. Boom. And then for the finish. Yeah, very easy if you bring bounce monsters to pinch the cheetahs. If you don't, then if you can't get a good pinch or you can't clear them in time, then don't proc the counters. Or just bring no damage wall and no guarded bear monsters all in one. So like uh Akala is really good. And or Arthur, you just bring three art uh, three Arthurs, and that will be pretty much it. And there is pencil case. Uh, another thing you need to worry about is there are stacks, uh, there are sets of cheetahs, and they shoot damage walls at the same turn on the same side of the wall. Uh, those damage walls are double stacked, so if you guys, if your non no damage wall monsters hit those uh, damage walls, then you will take twice the amount of damage that you'll normally take. So just be careful of that when you're playing your shots and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.